Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter nine, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we're talking about independent and dependent variables. So the cost of your entire meal will depend on the price of each item of food that you order. Okay, that's pretty simple, okay? So an online clothing store charges $6 for shipping, no matter the price of the items. The total cost in dollars is the price of the items ordered plus $6 for shipping. Well, the dependent variable is going to be the cost in dollars. Okay, the independent variable that's not going to change no matter what, that's going to be that $6. So that is the independent variable. Okay, that's the, that is the charge for shipping. Okay, so your equation will be the cost okay depends on the price of the items that you're purchasing and six dollars for shipping okay all right melinda is making necklaces she uses 12 beads for each necklace the total number of beads depends on the number of necklaces, okay? So the dependent variable, okay? Well, the number of beads depends on how many necklaces. So B is gonna be the dependent one, okay? The independent one is going to be how many necklaces. How many necklaces doesn't depend on how many beads she uses. How many beads she uses depends on how many necklaces she makes. Okay, so now your equation is going to be the number of beads depends on 12 beads per necklace. Okay, 12 beads per necklace. So if we make three necklaces, it's going to be 12 times three. Okay. All right. All right. Tanner is two years younger than his brother. Tanner's age T in years is two less than his brother's age V. Okay. Well, Tanner's age is dependent on how old his brother's is in this situation. Okay. Finding out what Tanner's age is is dependent on his brother's age. Okay. So that means that T goes there, okay? The independent variable is gonna be his brother's age, okay? So now your equation is gonna be Tanner's age, it's his brother's age minus those two years, all right? I want you guys to try number five on your own. I know these are a little bit tricky, but you'll get used to them, okay? And we're gonna go down where number six for the word problems. And it says Maria earns $45 for every lawn that she mows. Her earnings, E, in dollars depend on the number of lawns, N, that she mows. Write an equation that represents this situation, okay? So her earnings depend on it's $45 for each lawn that she mows. So $45 times six lawns she mows, times two lawns she mows, times whatever, however many lawns that she mows, okay? That's how much she's gonna earn. So that is our equation, okay? Martin sells cars. He earns $100 per day plus any commission on his sale. His daily salary, S, in dollars, depends on the amount of commissions, C, he, he, write an equation that represents the daily salary, okay? Well, his salary depends, he has $100, no matter what, plus his commissions, okay? All right, so we're going to go on the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. Okay, words one and two. 
and we're going to go down and do the spiral review, okay? So this is the formula, F equals 9 fifths C plus 35 gives the Fahrenheit temperature of a Celsius temperature of C degrees. Gwen measured a Celsius temperature of 35 degrees. What is the temperature in Fahrenheit? Well, let's do it. It says, and I'm just going to rewrite the formula right here so that I've got I've got it close by, okay? All right, so now where it says C, I'm gonna plug in 35, okay? I know there's a 35 there, don't confuse it with the 35 here, okay? So where it says Celsius, that's where we're gonna plug in that 35, okay? So now, I'm gonna actually do this one on scratch paper, okay? So I'm gonna go F equals 9 fifths, times 35 plus, oops, sorry, plus another 35, okay? Yikes, okay. So, all right, so now I'm gonna go 9 fifths times 35. Well, I'm gonna put that 35 over one, okay? Plus another 35, okay? Well, I'm going to cross cancel. Five goes into five once. Five goes into 35 seven times. Okay. Now, nine times seven is 63. Plus that 35. We're going to add it up. Eight, nine, 98 degrees, guys. Okay. Right. Oh, I wrote that on the wrong one. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Write an equation to represent the sentence that the difference of a number and 1.8 is 2. Well, so a number and the difference means subtraction. 1.8 is 2. Done. Okay. All right. Drew drank four cups of orange juice. This is two-fifths of the amount of juice that was in the container. Solve two-fifths X equals four for X. All right. Okay. How much juice is in the container? So let's find out, shall we? Okay. You will remember that when there is a number, even a fraction, next to a letter, it means multiply. Okay? Well, in order to get X alone, which is what I need, okay, I need X here equals whatever that number is, okay? I need to do the opposite. So I'm going to put a fraction line because a fraction is really division. And I'm going to divide by two-fifths because right here we're multiplying by two-fifths. So I need to do the opposite, okay? Whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side. So I'm gonna do it this way on this side, okay? So now, okay, these two fifths cancel out. Let's multiply by two fifths, divide by two fifths, that cancels out. So now we have X equals four divided by two fifths. Okay, that's our new equation. Okay, so I'm going to put that 4 over a 1 for starters, just so I have two fractions what I'm, that I'm working with. Okay, now when we're dividing fractions, we keep, change, and flip. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cross cancel because 2 goes into 2 once and 2 goes into 4 twice. And then I'm going to multiply straight across. It gets me 10 over 1, which is just 10. 10 cups. Okay, pause it, make sure you write down your work, okay? All right. The graph shows x is smaller than or equal to negative 4.5. Okay, well, you'll remember that when we have 
a greater than or less than sign that is underlined, we fill that circle in. Okay, so I'm going to go down to this four, negative four, and I'm going to fill my circle in. Now it says the x is smaller than or equal to. Okay, well, smaller than a negative means that you go to the left, which gives you a bigger number, but the negative sign makes it further away from zero. So we just do that. Okay, you fill in your circle. You do a line, an arrow, pointing to the way it gets smaller. That's it, guys. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 9.1. Come on back for 9.2 soon.